Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Live, Laugh, Love to Read. Today I am doing a book review on Hadley and Grace by Suzanne Redfern. Five stars. This book was so good. I loved it. Five stars. Um, so I have read all of, uh, of um, Suzanne Redfern's other books and loved them. So this was one of December's, let's see, what is it? Amazon December first reads um, book. This month in December, you could pick two um, Amazon Prime books for free. Um, and this was on there and I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, yes please. And I got it and read it in like two days. It was so good. So let me tell you the synopsis, then we're going to talk about it. it. says, um, needing to escape her abusive marriage, Hadley flees with her two kids, knowing it might be her only chance. A woman who can't even kill a spider, Hadley soon finds herself pushed to the limits as she fights to protect her family. Grace, new mother of baby Miles, desperately wants to put her rough past behind her for good, but she finds it impossible when her path crosses with Hadley's, and her quest for a new start quickly spirals out of control and turns into a terrifying flight for survival. Stronger together than apart, the two find their fates inextric this word, inextricably entwined, and as the danger closes in, each must decide how much she is willing to risk for the other. A powerful story of self-discovery, Hadley and Grace is the heart-racing tale of two women facing insurmountable odds, racing to stay one step ahead of the trouble that is chasing them, and discovering new kinds of love and family along the way. OMG. <laughs> so, what we have here is uh, Hadley is married to, uh, I can't even remember his name, Nick maybe? I can't remember his name. Anyway, he's not a very nice guy at all. Um, and so Hadley and him have two children and they, they're quite well off, like they have money, you know. But he's really, he's just mean. He's just a low down snake. So <laughs> she um, is supposed to be taking, um, the boy, okay, they have a boy and a girl. The boy is actually her her sister's son, who they have raised since he was born. And he's like, I want to fight five or six or seven, somewhere around there. And she is, um, the sister actually got married and is going to be taking custody of him. Yeah. So what is supposed to be happening is that Hadley's going to take the children. She's going to give the little boy to the the sister, and she's supposed to be gone nine days and all that. Well, what what happens is Hadley has decided she's going to go to the, his office, the husband's office, and she knows he keeps a safe there with money in it. So she's going to go there, and she's going to get the money, and then she's going to leave, and she's not going to come back. Well, when she gets there, huh, Grace, who actually works for the husband as the secretary, She's there, and she is going to be stealing the money because, um, I can't remember the husband's name, um, he owes her money. She got this really good deal for him, like a contract, and he was such a dick that he was like, oh, good job, and he was supposed to give her a percentage of it, and he didn't do it. So what Grace has decided <laughs> is that she's going to steal the money in the middle of the night, take her baby Miles, um, and she's going to leave. Well, what happens is her and Hadley meet in the office in the middle of the night. <sighs> well, what the two ladies don't know is when they open the safe, there's mil like $2 million in there. Yeah. They don't know each other before this. Well, they end up taking the money and they end up, they're going to leave together. They're going to leave, but what they don't know is... The husband ends into all kinds of shady shit. And <laughs> the FBI, the feds, are watching the business. The money they took is marked. So what ensues is the two women with the three children are going across the country. The feds are trying to catch them. Well, Grace has been in prison before. She's been in trouble, so she knows how to hide and get 
away from them. So the whole book is them running and um, trying to get away from the feds and everything. And it's so good. It's just so good. The uh, Mark, I do remember Mark. Mark is the head FBI guy. They end up kidnapping him. <laughs> Technically, yeah, they do. But we don't want to call it that because these two of them are awesomely cool. <laughs> so anyway, um, five stars. It was really good. I don't want to tell you any more than that because I want you to read it. Um, if you have Amazon Prime, go pick this book for one of your, for your books. Uh, I picked another one because you get two this month, but I can't remember what the other one is. I haven't read it yet, but I will sure let you know, um, but it's really good. It's kind of like Thelma and Louise. Um, yeah, that's kind of like what it is, but it's not exactly the same. I mean, but it does kind of give you those vibes, which I absolutely loved. Good job, Suzanne Redfern. Suzanne Redfern, and her last name is R-E-D-F-E-A-R-N, so it's not like Redfern, like, you know, five stars. <laughs> so good, guys. Get this book. That's all I got. So, I think I told you before, you're going to be seeing me a lot in overalls because I've decided I like them. I've been wearing them all the time. I got this pair, and I have another pair coming, and I just like them. So, you might be seeing me in overalls a lot with just a different shirt. Although, I have to say, I wore this outfit right here uh, all Christmas um, season while I was ship shopping. And everybody, oh, I love your overalls and your, your shirt. And it's, that's so cute. What can I say? I'm 51 years old and I have decided I want to be comfortable. And overalls are comfortable. And guess what? My husband thinks they're adorable. So, win, win. <laughs> and yes, I got a haircut. Um, I'm not exactly loving it. I, I think I'm going to keep my haircut short. But I think what I'm going to do is let the top grow more and keep the back shaved up. But I think I want the front and the sides long. Err. Not long, but longer. Because uh, I'm not actually loving... Um, like I like this side. I think this side's really cute, but I, I don't love this side for some reason. I don't know. It's just me. <laughs> but that's all I got, guys. If you like this video, how about a like? And hey, while you're here, how about a subscribe? Don't forget to check back for more book videos coming up soon. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.